Hey everybody, welcome back to On The Grid and today we are in Race Room Racing Experience. A new update has dropped, not a major update, but definitely interesting for someone wanting to get into Race Room with a minimal investment, and so this might be a good opportunity to do so. Two things, one, they've upgraded Laguna Seca to uh, reflect the 2020 specs. Uh, there's not anything new as far as, uh, you know, laser scanning or anything like that. This is really more of an art pass, uh, visually, graphic wise. And also, I believe the name was probably updated to the WeatherTech uh, Laguna Seca race. And as well, the starter pack has been updated to add more of the cars that are really popular in multiplayer races and things like that. So let's jump over to the store really quick and I'll show you what these changes are. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the starter pack now, what it looks like. I haven't bought the pro pack or the premium pack. I've pretty much bought everything that I wanted. I, um, I have almost all the tracks and I bought pretty much all the cars that I like to drive and uh, like to uh, run in multiplayer or single player sessions or for the time trials. So I pretty much own all those cars and I might go pick up a few of these here that are missing. Okay, so previously there was the Audi TT Cup. It's been updated to this uh, more current version and we've had the Tatus F4 was there already. The NSU, of course, was already there. What we didn't have previously was the Lotus Evora. So now that has been added here, the Lotus Evora GT4. The BMW M6 has also been added. Before, I believe it was the M3 that was in this pack. And uh, the Porsche 911 Carrera Cup uh, Honda Civic uh, Touring Car. That's also been added into this and the audi rs5 we did have a previous version but this is the 2020 dtm version and uh, the mercedes 190 of course a classic one in there so what has been replaced though is the mclaren uh, because in the previous pack there was the mclaren 650s and the mustang so that's been updated so basically what these are these are cars that are a lot more popular in the multiplayer races you can see down here it has been updated to weathertech uh, raceway laguna seca and just some of the updated banners and things like that so these are the same tracks that were in the previous pack the only thing is they've updated a few of the cars to make it a bit more relevant for somebody just wanting to jump into race room and wanting to have a nice variety of cars from the touring cars the gt3 cars formula cars and so it gives them a nice well-rounded experience into being able to kind of touch on all disciplines but what i do want to do is uh, i want to take out the weathertech laguna seca and see what that looks like with uh, the 2020 spec update all right, so right away we can see it here in uh, the start uh, start finish line, you have the WeatherTech banner, uh, all that is upgraded. So we'll take it around and kind of just check out and see what has been um, changed as far as uh, the new graphics. But what I do love about Race Room is that they're continually um, adding lots of content to this game. They keep updating the cars, they keep updating the tracks and adding new tracks and adding new competitions. So, I mean, to get into race room it is really fairly easy it, it, the base game is free uh, and then you can go and you start buying your packs as you go and you know you can upgrade from the starter uh, right up to the full complete package and i think pretty much for everything will cost you around say 80 or 90 dollars uh, to have a full pack with all the cars all the tracks and everything you want um so i think it's, it's just nice to see a game like this that they're constantly you know making you have an incentive to come back and, and try something out uh so let's get it out on the track and we'll see what this is like <laughs> late afternoon sun let's look good so i am running on a 3840 but i have my uh, frames down i have it set at 100. you see this is looking good really gives you that feel of uh monterey Nice California sun late afternoon. So this uh, bridge over here has been updated as well. So like I said, it's not a major update where, you know, the track has been completely changed as far as what you're feeling on track, but it's more of an art pass. So it's really just visual. Oh, look at that, beautiful. And this track is classic, you know, this has been every, it's been in every 
race sim racer you can imagine. So that's been updated. Get straight. So what I would like to do is actually do a, a quick race with this, like a three lap race. A lot more people in the grid, tents are up. All right, so let's uh, do a three lap race. We'll see what it's like with a few of the AI on the track. All right, so here we are on WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, and I'm going to take the Tatus uh, 4 out, uh, the F4. It's been a while since I've taken these cars out, but this car and track combo is actually pretty fun. And you can have some really fun competition, uh, some good multiplayer racing with these. They're breaking a bit early into the corner, so you got to be careful. You can see right there. I'm not going to stay too close. I know he's going to undercut me in the corner there. I don't know, this, this uh, kind of sentimental thing when you're racing on Laguna Seca, it always brings me back to probably like even Forza Motorsport 4 when they had the demo with the GT40 on Laguna Seca and that was all that was in the demo and pretty much ran that for I think what was it, about a month or two before the game out? Before the game came out. That cork is always great once you can get a good line through there. See, he's slowing down quite early. Great check -in. something here. Try and catch a draft all the way down the straight. See that? Almost lost it there. set on the adaptive AI, which is probably the setting that I most like, rather than a fixed setup. But when you're working with the adaptive AI, it does take a bit of time for them to get uh, a good understanding of how your, your competitiveness is. Keep 
your line, keep your line. He's gonna cut short here, so I'm gonna hide on the inside. Oh, what a pass. No, don't lose it at the last corner. Well, that was fun for just a three lap race. set this on adaptive AI and you run you know quite a few single player races you know you can obviously you can set it up 110 120 uh, difficulty but I think for the most part I like running it a adaptive AI look at them all just nice and clean in formation everybody respecting the winner All right, guys, so that was a quick look at the recent update that just uh, came out yesterday for Race Room Racing Experience. A couple of the things that are on the change list for the updates, they uh, worked on the dedicated server. Uh, they fixed the scheduling of one-time events. Uh, as you saw, Laguna Sake has been updated to the 2020 specs, and of course, the starter pack has been updated with new cars. They've worked on uh, tweaking some of the AI behavior, uh, especially in places like Spa, Lausitz Ring, Mid-Ohio, Red Bull Ring, and uh, they added new default controllers, profiles for the Logitech G923, the Sim Magic, the Thrustmaster 458. They've also updated liveries for an upcoming competition uh, that's going to be held in Asia. So that's really it for the updates to this recent uh, change. And uh, once again, guys, I do always appreciate you watching these videos and we'll catch you very soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.